So NASA is feeling a little Oprah Winfrey at the moment and has decided that everyone in the world gets a bunch of their favorite software for free. That's right. You get a global reference atmospheric model for Earth, Mars, Venus, and Neptune. You get an integrated cognitive assessment tool for determining if someone is up to the task of doing their job in space. You get an app that calculates the Boolean subtraction of arbitrary <laughs> watertight triangular polyhedral uh, for making near-field sonic boom predictions. We all win, people. Yes. There was Whew. no NASA software under my chair. Oh, well, there was you don't none. you don't look under your chair. You go to software.nasa.com. Okay, got it. Got Sorry, it. it's a little different. Okay. This one, not quite as exciting. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this, although yeah. I couldn't figure out uh, how to get. I wanted some for my iPad, and there's some for your iPad. Yeah, there was one there's link I stuff. found, and then it just went to like the Apple site. It was like a broken link. I was upset about that, but. Um, this isn't just like NASA rocket games. This is serious software we're talking about. Yeah, this is like uh, 3D models, images, textures that you can use for educational or personal use. Um, like you said, there's an iPad app to tour the Glenn Research Center. That's NASA's R&D oh, uh, research center. Uh, NASA Space Weather app for Android, but that uh, appears to have been in the Play Store since 2012. Uh, so, you know, that's not necessarily new, and it looks like it, it's from 2012. Um, and this is actually the 2017-2018 edition of the catalog. They've done this a couple of times before, but this particular time they added a ton of new free stuff, all royalty-free, all copyright-free from NASA. So you can feel like you won. Oh, that's good. Because, nice. uh, I mean, could, do you think we could, like, get to the moon with this? With just this? Own? Yeah. Oh, finally, we have... Finally, we have exactly what we need to get ourselves to the moon. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> this I, I is all that was holding us back. I don't think we've heard of who's going to the moon. You know, the SpaceX, SpaceX we still don't know. Nope. Um, the two private citizens. <laughs> I want to know. Reverb Mike says, wow, his level of enthusiasm was way higher than the story deserved. <laughs> I know. You really love uh, love the Oprah analogy just, to free things. I just okay. want everybody to be happy. <laughs> yeah. That's all I want. Yeah, Jason Howell, the Oprah of tech news. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I resemble that comment.